is Sam I am. How is everybody? I myself I'm doing fantabulistic. Super excited to be here with you to do another project. Yep, yep, yep. So today what are we going to do? Well, you guys know how I like to combine my molds. So I have this beautiful mold and then I have this beautiful mold that I got from my subscriber Rita. Miss Rita, I'm using it. So as you can see, it is a beautiful paw and it is a huge paw compared to my hand. This is big enough to be a bowl. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a food and water bowl on a tray. How cool. And um, around the outside, I've already gone and did the silver. I went ahead and did this while we were gone, while you were gone, while we, you were not with me. I was alone and I used Let's Resin's metallic powder with a little bit of alcohol put it on my brush and go all the way around, which I'm getting ready to show you how I do that on this paw. In the middle, let me finish describing what we're doing. So we're gonna do that. Then I have this guy, isn't he cute? I bought, I'll link this, I think it's Woody. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll link it. I got all these different wood things. So I'm gonna put the paw, I'm gonna do that in the silver because that'll go around matching. Um, and then I'm doing this. Then around and um, then I'm gonna pop this out like this. And I am combining these two to make a light pink, I think. I don't know, I gotta see what they look like mixed together. I'll get to that part in a minute. We don't need, um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna do for that. And then once I pop it back out, this will be, the paw itself will be in silver. Then around this part of the paw will be whatever pink I decide. And then around to fill that is I'm going to use this fantastic or funfetti glitter that I got from Laura's Art Corner. I've been waiting to use this for like a long time. And I don't do a lot of pink stuff. I don't know why because that's like one of my favorite colors. Or it is my favorite color. So I'm going to put that uh, around that, fill that up. And then you'll be able to see just a little bit of the pink through the bowl because it'll have just a little bit of glitter. What do you think? Sound good? And then I'm going to put just a little bit of this because... To put this down so you can see it, I've got to put a layer of clear. So I'll put a little bit of glitter in the layer of clear. And then after that cures, then I'm gonna come in behind it and I'm gonna try and get the crackle effect with whatever pink I decide to put in the bowl. Um, then I'm gonna use these metallic alcohol links from GRDZ Plus. And then I'll use the other pink, I think. I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. Not quite sure, just figured, I, I mean, my brain is killing me. I'm just trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing. So y'all are here with me now. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm going to flip this over since that's all done. Woo, that's dirty. All right, we'll do this. Okay, all done. All right, so let's go ahead and do the paw. We shall take, put some... Uh, alcohol in your little cup. What do I do with the brush? Anybody seen the brush? Hmm, silver. Oh, I found it. All right. All right, and then you take your little cap, put some in there. And look, this doesn't work with mica powder. You have to, this is a metallic powder, not mica powder. And it's just paint. Pretty cool, huh? So, um, you don't have to watch me do this whole thing, I guess. It's going to be a long video. I'm doing all these different things. So, how about I'll put you on hold and I'll be right back. Hey, my friends. I got it all in silver. I've got everything around me in silver. And it made a mess. But I did my little paw and I put him in there. Um, I measured it. I think it was like six on each side. But see, the outside's kind of rugged, so see that six, six. So that's kind of a good guesstimate. In the, oh, I should do this. I didn't do this side. So that's three. That's not really three. So I need to come down a little bit. Two and a half. Two and a half. Perfect. Pretty close, anyway. What is perfect? Me, besides me. Who? All right, so now I got mixed this resin up like a week ago. So I've been trying to keep it cool, but it's ready to go. Oh, I gotta show y'all the um the paw. I did the paw. Let me go ahead and put the glitter in this and get it poured. Okay. 
I had to put it in a bunch of different cups. So, because you know, if it's deeper, the deeper it is, the quicker it cures. So, I should not have poured it as soon as I did. So, here's the paw. I did the silver and then I did pink. It's a lot lighter than I wanted, but that's okay. I mixed. I don't know where they, Orangeloa and Silver Pearl, Black Diamond and Eye Candy. I would think Orangelo would be orange, but that's okay. All right, so I got that one, and then I'm just going to go ahead and pour it all in this cup. That's what I'm going to do, because it's all going to be glitter. So I don't have to... And it is hot. I'm not lying. I'm lying, I'm dying. A lot of people say that. I'm not gonna say I'm dying about anything, huh? So, this was 14 ounces when I started. But you know, you always leave some on the cup. You don't, I mean, it just is, it is what it is. It's close to 14. That's where I started out, but now I've mixed it in three different cups. You know, you lose some, so there we go. All right, here we go. Now I'm gonna mix the glitter. Well, I don't know how, but I gained an ounce. So maybe I had 16. Yeah, I think it was 16. I thought it was 14, but oh well. I got 16 now. <laughs> hey, here we go with this beautiful glitter. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, baby, I like it. Great. So, I know y'all can't see the paw because it's over here. I can't put it on here. So, let me pour it and then I will, um, I'll aim you over there. But let's go ahead and do this first. I might not have enough to do the paw. I might only have enough to do this first. Well, look at that. I do only have enough to do this. Wow. It's a big mold, y'all. A big mold. So, that means I will just have to pour extra when we do the next layer. No, I want, I gotta do the bowl now because I need to be able to make another one for the water bowl. Hmm. You know what? Y'all saw me do this, so while you're gone away, I will do the, um, the paw. Okay? You saw the color of the paw. Now we just got to make sure this goes in all the corners we want it. It is really hot resin. And we just need a clear coat just so our haul will be seen when we put in the other colors because it'll be darker. Not to mention this glitter is just beautiful. Ms. Laura, haven't used any of your glitters in a while. So there, isn't that pretty? I think we got it everywhere. It's self-leveling. Uh, by the way, this is um, ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. My resin, my go-to resin, I love it. It's thick if I want it, it's thin if I want it. It is what I want all the time so i recommend it and there we are all filled up with our first layer now um let me wipe this and because i don't generally use alcohol unless it's on a clear background or just as long as there's not color in there because it's just it splatters to me so i just do it when there's a clear but there we go that's our first layer so i told you this video is going to be long so i'm gonna go ahead and stop blah 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 and i'll be back hey everybody i'm back our first layer is cured did anybody notice anything before i left about the paw well i put the silver side up which is not what we wanted we wanted the silver side down so once i realized that i picked it up 
and I flipped it over and hopefully the glitter that is left underneath there is just going to be a little bit around. Hopefully. It might look like teetotal crap on the other side. If it does, we'll figure out a way to fix that. But for right now, we're going to continue on with the plan. Now, I want to make, uh, like, like I told you, the dragon scale looks like uh, the dragon scale scales. On, when we flip this over, look like dragon scales. So, to do that, I need three different colors. First, you got to put a layer of clear. Okay? Then you do your colors, 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 which I'll show you that. But to do our colors, I need to move this. I don't know for So, let me show you what I'm talking about. Oh, 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 wee! I gotta do this too, but I think I gotta mix up more resin. Let's do the bowl. This one's ready. Looks funky. Mm. I'm not real happy about that. Looks funny around the outside. Like it's cracked. Who in the world did that? Can you see that? Let's see. Hold on, let me see. You see that? It looks like, um, cracked. I don't know how to say it, except it looks cracked. Like, like the inside of this was not smooth in some way. I wish y'all could see it. It's like textured. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Right there. You can see it. See how it's textured? What in the world calls that? What do y'all think? All the way around. That's weird. I wonder if it's going to do it on the next one. I don't know, but this didn't turn out as good as I was hoping. But, it is what it is. My dog will love it. So, we're going to do it again. See what happens with this one. I don't understand why that cracked like that. I don't know. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Maybe, maybe it was too deep and flash cured. But then, why didn't it look funny on top? Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, first things first. Let's mix our colors. Oh, nope. First things first. Sam, I am. Put your gloves on. Safety first. The heat's kicking in here. What is it? Yeah, 73. Time to turn the heat on. Alright, I'm still here, guys. Lolly gagging. Okay. Now, I'm, really, there's a problem having too many colors, I think, because I can't, when you have a scattered brain like mine these days, I can't, just can't figure out colors that I want. I really can't, and it's crazy, crazy, man, crazy, I shall tell you. Okay, now, what I like to do when I do my micas, I will mix in my, oh, that wind's blowing right this way. I put in my mica before I put in my, I'm just going to put all that in there. Before I put in my resin. Okay, we'll just put that in there. Then we're going to take that. That was a mixture of orangelo and silver pearl. Just like I did on the dog's bowl. And I'm going to do just the orangelo. <laughs> that is the weirdest name I've ever seen for a pink. It's not orange. Hmm. All right. These spoons, are, these spoons are like flat. They have no hump to them. All right, let's see how that does. A little bit more. Let's check it out. Okay. Now, oh, I gotta have the big. I gotta get um uh, the stir sticks. These, I got big ones for these cups. These. All right, let me pour in some resin. Sloppy outside of the cup. Okay. Drip everywhere. And you're going to take it and you're going to mix it on up. And get all that mica mixed in. It's just easier way to do it. Just make paste. Actually, could have put in less than this. It just makes all that mica easier to make sure it's all mixed in. No lumps, clumps, dumps, or anything. It's all pretty color. 
which is what we want. See, that's all mixed in now. Shouldn't have any problems. Shouldn't. That's always scheduled to change though, right? Mm -hmm. All right, we'll just do the same thing. Get this mixed in. I like the pinks. Ferongelo. Whatever. No, I mixed up 32 ounces of resin. Yeah, a lot of resin. And I don't think that's enough to do the Paul, too. Because this um, tray is very, very thick. Which I'm not doing the whole thing. But it takes a lot of resin. I mean, you figure the first layer I did was 14 ounces, so... Now I'm going to split it up, leaving a little bit for um, the clear on the bottom of the tray. Mm -hmm. okay, I think that's going to be enough to cover the tray. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the color first. I'll put that layer for here. I'm just gonna split it. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I've done this a couple times different ways. And I, it's been a while since I did it, but I'm gonna do it this way. Because I don't didn't make enough to cover in clear. So it'll just my clear will have color in it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's got to drop down through the color to make the dragon scape. So You'll see. You'll see what I mean. How am I might not even know what I mean? Okay. There we go. Got that out of the way. Yeah, I will have to put y'all back. Or I'll just do the um the paw bowl when you're away. When I'm alone. The things I do when I'm alone. Hmm? All right. Let's get this mixed up. And I got to make this colorful. Sorry, y'all. I got to get that up. Y'all know that bothers me. Resin is a mess. If you don't clean it right away, then it's a mess, even messier. All right, so mix this up. And this resin is warm too, because it's so deep. As you know, the deeper your resin is, the warmer, the quicker it cures. If you don't know, now you do. This cup is going to cure quicker than if it was down to here. Because the thicker it is, the quicker it cures. It's got more of a chemical there to have a reaction with. Just like when you're pouring something and you've got a thin layer. It's going to take longer for that to cure. Or you would think it would be the opposite. It's not like you're cooking a cake. <laughs> okay. Now, I gotta make the paper. Here we go, y'all. Oh, shucks. What was that? I just threw something across the room. I don't know what it was. Okay, this is, um, what did I say this was? Cardinal? It looks really red, doesn't it? This is metallic pink, and I can't read that. I don't think it says Cardinal. I don't know why they have to have this fancy dag on. Brighten. Let me see how this pink with red that is. Oh, that's red. Oh, no, that's pink. That's not the pink I want, though. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, yeah, there we go. I just squirted a bunch of that in there. There we go. Gosh, darn it. In an instant, your fingers get dirty. Let's see what this looks like. Wow. Wow. That did a good job on the wall on the resin. Resin doesn't I mean alcohol inks don't normally have this effect in resin for me. That was really pretty, y'all. <laughs> Look at that. I love it. I do, I do, I do. 
I don't even need any more in there. Cool. All right, so let me put these up here, up here. Move this out of the way. I don't need that. I don't know how I have an extra one, but that's okay. Okay, here we go. Here's our paw. All right, you guys, here we go. I don't think it's going to work because it's not enough here. So it's not enough to layer it. I don't know what's going to happen. Man, I should have mixed up 64 ounces, y'all. 64 ounces. Look at all this. That's crazy. This is a big cup. That's a 32 ounce cup, isn't it? 32 ounce, I think. I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's for my dog anyway, so it's all good. Actually, my dog is the one I had to that passed away right before dad. And I ended up with his dog, who was really, I mean, a female dog is a bitch. And that's exactly what she is. She, she grabs my mom's robe and she, and she snags and uh, growls at her, pulling it back and forth. It's crazy. Crazy little dog. She almost went up the road, but dad ended up saving her, which was really funny because he couldn't stand her. But anyway, so now that he's gone, she has become my dog. I mean, she's changed a lot. A lot. I don't know if it's... I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, now that that's done, let's talk about this. Let's do this color. We'll see what happens, y'all. Could just be a mixture of pinks. And that's fine. Like I said, this is for me. My house. Oh, I came up with a... Oh, whoa, did y'all see that? I came up with a really good idea for the bottom. I will show y'all in a little while. Okay. Now this one. know what's gonna happen guys we shall see hopefully it'll work from the outside in like it normally does and it will distribute this nicely that's what we want and I really don't want to put any more resin in here this is thick enough that is thick enough I don't need it any thicker all right let me do this wipe my hands I gotta clean those cups and first, I shall do this quickly and efficiently with your lighter. Fire. Cool. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll be back. I'm going to do the, um, the other bowl, too, while y'all are gone. Okay? I'll be back. Good morning, everybody. I'm back. I got our cured pieces. Let's start with the bowl. Hopefully, we have better luck than we did with the other one. But I've figured out a way to fix that. Well, I hope. I'm going to try it anyway. Well, this one came out better. Look. That's nice and smooth. Got a little bare spots in there where this one isn't. But that's okay. I think they look fabulous. What do you think? What are these things are for? It looks like it's for a cigarette. Huh? Who's going to be using a cigarette? Or, I guess if you smoke, then you'll use whatever you got to, right? It is what it is. These are for food and water. <laughs> Not cigarettes. So, my thing is, is I am going to put in a little UV resin with the silver. I guess I'll have to do it on both so they're even to make this nice and smooth. 
That sound good, guys? Okay, now we have to talk about the tray. What in the world is going on, on my board here? Oh, no, it just moved on me. There we go. Okay, let's move these out of the way for a minute. Voila. Now, since we don't know what tomorrow, I mean, the bottom is going to look like, the front is going to look like because of the issue with the paw, I'm going to do what I'm going to do after we see it. Because I have marked these spots. I have these beautiful diamonds. And I thought that it would be cool to put them like this. So, because I want this up off the ground, so, you know, water or whatever gets underneath it is not sitting there on your floor. Or wood floors would not like that. I've marked this, guys, so just don't think I'm getting it right off the bat. I'm going to put them down the middle. To support it in the middle so it's not flopping. guys that look pretty cool so I'll UV resin them down or actually I will what is this called hold on let me find it where is it at I just had it oh my goodness oh this I got the B I don't even remember what the real one's called but I got the B7000 it works so we will put that down and then I will UV resin it just to be safe okay so, but before we do this, before we waste anything else, let's see what the front looks like. This is 14 and 32 is what? 46? 46 ounces of resin. So, yeah, let's hope that it turned out. Ready? Let's check it out. Come on, friend. Help, help me. Help, help me. Man, this is a really nice, big, thick mold. Um, I'm pretty sure I got it off Etsy. There's many places you can get it from, though. Cheaper than what I pay for it. So, I'll find some place in Etsy or something and list it for you. But I wouldn't recommend where I got it from. Because I thought it was a handmade mold. Thought it was all cool. Yeah. Then I see it, saw it in numerous places. Cheaper. Okay. Alrighty, my friends. Let's see. I can see the paw through here, so I'm going to flip it to you. Ready? Bam! <gasps> Just that little spot. Oh, look. Just those little spots. Look, I got the crackle effect like I wanted, though. So, mm hmm. You think I fill that in with UV resin? Or should I put another coat of resin on there? Look, I just got one, two, three, four. Here, let me show you. Got that spot, that spot, that spot, that spot, that spot, that spot, that spot. Not bad in that spot. I got my crackle effect. Oh, it's a little not in the middle where I moved it. But hey, it's mine. So let's see if I can fix. Oh, look, that's not even. I might have to drill that out. Oh, there we go. I popped it. What do you think? Can I fix that with UV resin now? Huh. Oh, gloves. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Got some peeling going on over here on the side. You see our sides look good. There's a couple spots I see. Um. So, I'll probably have to do that with the pen, the deco color pen. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Folks, let's try it. Okay, and do this little one first. Mm 
Uh-uh. Why is my light not working? What in the world? Come on, baby. Uh-oh. Maybe this thing stopped working. Oh! What is this plug? What's up, dude? Fix it. Oh, I'm not getting very far, am I? Alright, let me switch this plug. My goodness. Alright, I'm going to lose the light. I need to get some more of those adapter things. Yes, I do. Alright, so we lost the light. Alright, I can still see it. Then we're going to have to pour another coat, guys, on top. Man, I don't want to put any more resin in this. I really, really don't. And we can definitely see it. do to this paw to make it work. You know what I mean? Can I add some decorations on here or something? Let's see. That didn't me see. I got this little teeny tiny micro brushes that I'll never use. So now that I have a chance, I can find them. My goodness, where are you? Where are you? There you go. Okay. And let's see if this works. A little better anyway. Put the color in there, huh? Again, this one's mine, so next time I'll remember to make sure I got it the right way. My goodness. I know y'all are going flipping it over. I don't want to have to put another layer on here just for this. And let's, oh, I'll we'll wait till I get that. Okay. Uh, I guess that's just going to be as good as I can get it, guys. That's what I'm going with. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Now I could put some glitter on that. You think that'll make it better? Nah. I love I got the crackle. It was almost perfect. Almost perfect. It's handmade. That's what happens, right? Oh, let me go ahead and work on this. I am going to do what? The, let's see. Let's see if I can do this like so. There's my little brush. Oh, that's a stiff brush. Here we go. I 
gonna fix very good, does it? I'm gonna have to color the resin. Yep, because that's not, I mean, it's like it's bent or something, like it's been dug out. So we will mix the resin up to do it. Let me finish this one step at a time. overall pleased with it. Ugh, I want to put the other layer on there to cover it though. Oh, it's killing me. I just can't do it. I just can't see putting 14 ounces, more ounces in this when it's for me. I'll do better next time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Microbrush. Oh, it's amazing what you find under your little table. Okay, that one's done. Where's my microbrush at? Where, where did you, oh my goodness, there we go. Here's another one. Alright, see? It's noticeable, but like I said, it's better than having to put another whole layer on here. All right, so let's do this one. And this is a big one here. this one real quick. Okay. Not too bad, guys. Not too bad. I'm happy. I'm pretty happy. Alright, let me get this going. UV resin in here. Put a little bit of silver metallic powder, not mica, in there. I need something to stir with. And we'll stick. Sorry to reach in front of you guys. Oh, try him over here doing it without you. Yep, nice and thick. Which doesn't look like a lot because it isn't a lot, but we don't need a lot. Right? Right. And if we need more, we'll make more. Less is more. Okay, so let's move this here. Move that there. Let me put the lid on this before I knock it over. Y'all know I am good for that. Okay, here we go. Y'all don't know why that's all eat up there. But not much I can do about that. Let's see if I can get this in there. I think I'm gonna have to pour it in here. A little thicker than what I want it to. Yeah, I'm going to, have to put it in there thick. That is like a big old crater. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Can I just fill in that hole? 
it won't go in. Oh, there it goes. All right, let me see if I can wipe this out and I'll do the same thing that I did up here. Again, this is my personal one for my dog, my dad's dog that I inherited. Okay, so we are just going to see see how that's like dug in. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I'm missing the light right now. I should have used the other light. Hold on. Let me switch lights. I have one that's closer than the other, so we need to use that one. Now I gotta find the Dumaflatchy though. Where is that thing at? Where, where could it be? Where's the plug at? Where'd you go? Come back. Um, what in the world? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. That works. Okay. Perfect. Alright, so let's put this down in there. See if I can just do like I did with that. See? Dropped it in there. Again, it's not perfect, but... And this one's got some grooves in it, too. I don't know what in the world I did. Good. I'll go with that. Alright. Alright, I think I need to put a little more in there. do a clear on top of this, huh? And that's what I'll do. Well, that's the only way I can figure out how to fix it, guys. Putting a band-aid on the boo-boo. Y'all feel free to fast forward. I'm just concentrating here. Or talk to amongst yourselves. Just bear with me just a minute. back in for the rest of it up with clear I guess. That's all I got guys. That's all I can do. And I believe it's better than it was. Huh. This. I don't know about this though. make this one the water bowl. <laughs> it's always full. Right? Right. Mm, we 
we go. I'm, I'm pleased with this. Think so, guys? Not too bad, huh? I'm gonna cure that. And this one is like almost perfect. Not as dark as that one, but that's okay. Should I fill it in? Should I do that? Am I being lazy by not doing that? I just don't want to put in more in this daggone piece. Okay, now I can put the clear on there. Take this little demo flotchy. Oh, look at that. That's perfect. got to get it built up and then it'll be even or look more even anyway. UV resin is the bomb. Great, that's the best I can do, guys. That's it. I mean, I could. No, I'm not. I'm not doing anything else. That's it. This is fucking me, though. Oh, crap. I forgot I hadn't cured it yet. Silly, silly girl. What did I do with the thing in my dinner? Sorry if y'all are bored, but I thought you'd want to see how I fix this. So in case you had the issue, like I had the issue, you can fix it. Yeah. I mean, like I said, it's better than it was. I could put a little glitter on there. I wonder what that would look like. Let's see. That does take away from it, doesn't it? Ooh, la, la, la. That does take away from it, guys. Okay, then. Another round of UV resin. Oh, my God. I just blew it all away. Silly. All right, let me do this. This is going to be the best way to do this. No, it's not. I'm going to get it, y'all. I promise. I'm going to get it where I like it. But right now, I don't have it there yet. But this glitter is looking very good with this cover it up.
Look at that. Wow. Very impressed. Very, very impressed. I ran out of Miss Laura's glitter and I only had this from the dollar store. Thankfully, it's pretty close because I realized it after I made the first bowl. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't save any of the glitter. And then I found this. So I was like, okay. Man, that looks pretty good, y'all. Okay. Ooh, I forgot this little one here the whole time. Yep, I'm going over them again. That looks much better at hiding it. I think, anyway. Y'all get to see it in a minute. Makes me happier. Flatten it down a little bit. Yeah. Voila. Turn the heat off. So today's daylight savings time. I didn't know it till four o'clock this morning. My mom's alarm was going off. Why she doesn't set for four o'clock? I don't know. That's way too early. One more time. I'll do the poll. And I'll show y'all what I got. Still want to put another layer on it, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Oh, I've got something going on over here. I've got to fix that. Diamonds. Hands are sweaty. Yeah, I don't get why this one turned out so funky. It has to be because the resin was warm. See how that is? Can you see that? I was talking about it earlier. I see. Or yesterday. Or sometime. Whenever we were here together. See how it's got like stress marks? Or stretch marks? Like after I had a baby? Yeah. And see, this one doesn't have it. 
Who knows? Oh man, I forgot I got, still got to cure that. Let me do that before I mess it up again. All right, guys, y'all ready to see this? What do you think? Can you see it? I know you can see the spots. I know that. But it looks better than it did, doesn't it? I think so. Still not quite level, but I'm never going to get it perfectly level. I'm happy with it. I think the glitter just did perfect. And that's what I'm going with. Now, I just want to make sure all these are nice and cured. Get this up out of the way. Now, going back to the diamonds. I got some. And yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go around with the silver pen. I don't know why it didn't work out this good. Because I used the gold or the copper. And it worked out fabulous. I'm not sure. Oh, well. No problem. We'll fix it. Alright, I gotta wipe my hands. They're leaving silver marks. Uh oh. Wait, my pen. Oh no, that was already there. Mm. I'd really like to take these gloves off, but I can't do that because you resin will jack me up. Alright, here we go. Where's my B7000 and my diamonds? Now, again, fast forward if you'd like. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, okay. I think I've done these very even. Oh, sugar. There we go. Okay. And you see I lined these up in the middle of those. dog will like it. I have more ideas to do with this, but I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Mm. This is my notes that I made for this thing because I was so confused. <laughs> but we got it, didn't we? Uh -oh. I think I just, no I didn't. I thought I wet my dot. Hmm? I can't be wiping the dot now. Hmm? I'm not one sticking to me. Good guys. I'm pretty pleased with it.
Now when I go to do the UV resin, I will do it and come back to you. How about that? That look good? Cute. All right. So I'll be back. Let me do the UV resin and we will have this ready for pictures. Anybody seen the lid of this? There we go. Okie dokie. I just put the lid on this real quick. Before I make a mess. Okay, I'll be right back.